Okay, I wanted to cover uh, prefabs. We're gonna set up, kind of finish up on our foundations. So <clears throat> there's a couple things. So one of them, I'm gonna zip over to our battle scene. Uh, Final Fantasy battle. Okay, we'll save that. So like, there's nothing here. Like, this is just a blank, completely blank scene. And what I want to actually do is I'm going to take the camera. Um, I'm not going to do anything with them actually. So <clears throat> I have folders. I built folders here. For example, there's a folder here called Battle Maps. And this is going to be a prefab. These things don't contain any logic. And I'll show you what they kind of look like in mine. Right? There is a, a bit of a battle scene. And the important thing is this is at zero, zero, zero. So you would want to have this set up in a way where you see it and you line your camera up, right? So, <clears throat> and these can be anything. Like I've got a mountain one and I've got that grass one. So all, all it is is just a collection of, of whatever, right? And you can do dungeons and all sorts of things uh castles towns anything you want where a battle could happen boss rooms and you can make as many of these as you could possibly ever want and i just thought i would show you that real quick but the key is we have an object this object is going to be at zero 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 all right so we can call this dungeon and now that I have, you know, dungeon there, I can just literally, I'm just going to grab a couple things. I'm not going to go nuts on this. And I'm just going to put them, you know, and you could duplicate. I like to hold down uh, V and do vertex snapping personally. Um, but yeah, something like that. Said so you really don't got to go. Well, I mean, you, you can you can take this as to be as wild as you want to go. You can take it, put as much detail as you could as your little heart desires into this thing, right? But the important thing is we have a map to battle on, right? So we have something like this, and then you know, like you're gonna want to add whatever you want else to that thing you know like maybe this has got something like that over there where's my walls i really don't want to spend too much time on this i mean i'm sure you guys kind of get the idea of what's happening and you guys can spend all sorts of time putting this type of stuff together now you got to keep in mind, depending on how you want your camera to function, if you want it to be just static, then really you're just looking at what looks good in front of this camera view. If you want your camera to move a bit, you know, like if you're going to have some big fancy spell or whatever the case may be, then you're going to want uh, to have maybe your your battle map be able to to deal a 360 degree moving camera. You don't want to go too nuts, but, you know, a, a little something would probably be good. All right, so just an example, right? So I can now go something like that. I'm not going to go pinpoint accurate on this thing. And I don't know, maybe I'll just stick something down here. Oh, there's a great. Let's stick that there. That might look kind of nice little details. And that's that's the kind of, that's kind of the thing though. Is you want you want details, right? This will this will just make it look more alive. And you could alter the lighting in this scene a bit if you want. Uh, there's ways to get around that. Uh, where would be a another wall? Just need a big wall. Let's just use that. Turn that 180. 
bring that down and I'm just going to push it back. Should probably put a border on something like that just to hide this kind of seam. But I'm not that worried about it right now. I mean, right now, for what it is, <clears throat> I can literally take everything here, make sure it is under our dungeon prefab. Our dungeon prefab is at zero, zero, zero. And I can now go to our battle maps and I can just break this in and boom, prefab. There is a battle zone of a dungeon, <clears throat> right? And decorate as much as you want. So the other <clears throat> prefabs we're gonna want is say a weapon. So I took a weapon here and I'm gonna show you a little trick. And this is actually really useful in a lot of different games. So if I take any kind of character, really it doesn't matter who, uh, we'll take this guy for example. Now, we don't, we don't wanna play around with the code going all crazy. All we want to do is say, I'm going to, I want to create this sword into his hand if this is what he's holding. All right, because we want it to be dynamic. So if I put it in his hand and I zero it out, you'll see it goes right to the right spot. <clears throat> and there's a way to do that. So, for example, say we want to make a weapon. Let's pull a weapon out. And we'll call this, I don't know, it can be anything really. Something that at least looks half decent, like cool. Okay, here's a rune axe. So if I put a normal weapon and I stuff it in his hand, this is what normally happens. It's zero, 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 and it's sitting stupid. So what I tend to do is I make in his hand zero, 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 and we're going to call this guy the rune axe. <clears throat> I'm going to take the rune axe graphic, the model. We don't need the colliders, get rid of that crap. Put it on there. But now I'm not going to adjust the root. I'm going to adjust the actual graphics and bring that up to fit a little nicer into the hand. So it sits like that. So now the rune axe itself is at zero, 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 and it's in his right hand. So that is how we would set up some weapons. And it's just, I'm gonna put an FSM, and I'm not gonna change its name, and I'm just gonna put an integer. You could also use floats too. I'm gonna to call a, a variable called damage. I like to put it in the, out, in the input, because that brings it out here, and I could adjust this thing. And you can give it whatever value you want. Oh, crap. I put it in the wrong thing. Copy that. Put this on the root. Not not on the actual graphics. Sorry about that. Make sure it's on the root. So once we have that, we can go to our weapons and we just drew it. Poof. There we go. We got a rune axe. Gone. All right? <clears throat> Pretty simple. And we could do all our weapons like that. There's, there's more stats we can bring into those things later on, too, if you want, and I'll, we'll, we'll get into that. So, some of the other ones is I have a starting character, and this is the character we use when we're running around the main world. And I just named him starting character, right? And I'll show you, he's, he's, there's really very little logic on this guy, right? So, I'm going to grab, uh, we'll grab the female version of this one. Boop. Right, and we also could make this so this is a selectable thing as well. So, <clears throat> on them, we only have a nav mesh agent, a capsule collider, a rigid body marked as chimatic, and a little bit of logic. Right, so nav mesh agent, capsule collider, rigid body. FSM. So rigid body, chimatic. Okay, cool. It's done. Uh, 1.8 is fine. These these ones, the sizes don't need to be that accurate. I mean, this is for world collisions. It's 
right? So I'm just going to adjust it so that the capsule sitting like that. Uh, the nav mesh, I am going to up the speed to four, and I'm going to take the angular speed, which we're going to go to like 2,000, and crank that right up. Take the acceleration up to nine. Uh, even even time of stopping distance will be fine. So there's that. And FSM wise, okay. So the other thing we need is I'm going to take off root motion, and we want some sort of controller, right? And it's going to be very very basic. Um, if I create a new animator controller. And I'm just going to stick this on there. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and unpack the prefab so that it's not a prefab. Now I can say Final Fantasy starting character. Give it a good name. So in the animator, not animations, the animator, all we really need is a float. We can call this a speed. And we want a blend tree. And in this, it's going to use speed as a parameter. And we want more or less just two motions. We want an idle. And really, as long as you have, it doesn't matter. Like this, is, this, is, this is for the world uh, movement. So it's not like it's going to be some big massive thing. It's just uh, how our, our person looks. Uh, when they're not, when we're not moving them, I guess. All right, so there's a decent idle. And then we need like a run. And I got tons and tons of runs. Bears, foxes, machetes. How do we know what that one is? Oh, those are moose. Yeah, we can't use a moose. We're, we're not a, a moose rig. Let's use that one. All right, so now if I move that up, we're running. Okay, cool. So logic-wise, all this needs is a get agent velocity. every frame we want the magnitude we store it as mag set animator float put it underneath uh, speed we're going to give it the value of mag every frame give it just a tiny bit of damp time even 0.1 that's it that is our character right i can prefab them off they go. So now we have a character. Uh, and we have weapons. <clears throat> right? And if I take this character, I can even show you this. Now that we have a character, if, if this was the character we're going to use in scene for combat, uh, if I took our rune axe we made, drop it in the right hand, it goes into the right spot. Yeah, you know, roughly. As far as well as we set it up anyways all right so there's weapons there is um, <clears throat> our starting character we have some battle maps there there's some there's some other little weird things so I'm gonna grab our dungeon that we had all right I'm gonna set that up here I want another thing called slots so I'm gonna create another object I'm gonna also put this at zero 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 and we're going to call this Final Fantasy Slots. And <clears throat> all I really want here is I want to, for example, I'm going to create an empty. We call the, you can call those something if you want to. Um, let's just grab one of our characters for a marker. So if you think of it this way, let's move our camera up a tiny bit. If you think about it this way, so if we create this thing at zero, 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 where do we want our slots to be for our characters? 
well we would want say you know roughly one here maybe up a tiny bit because he's kind of sunk it in and let's duplicate him and maybe we put one here maybe one here and we'll stick one I don't know maybe here again you can kind of set them up any which way you want and I'm going to take the, all these things and I'm going to go negative 90 so they're all facing the right direction so that's kind of how our characters will look at uh, or be put in the right spot and I'm going to delete those we don't need those so we just have this guy at 0 0 0 and these four little markers and I'm going to go to our prefabs and that's it okay so now that we've kind of got that I'm just going to hit save not that we've got anything in this scene it's still an empty scene I'm going to go over to our <coughs> menu scene Final Fantasy menu scene let's open that up so we have some prefabs here that we need to make and that they're quite simple um, for example if we go into our battle HUD and we say go into our action menu and to make this easier I'm gonna take these ones and just hide them for now and the events let's hide him so this is kind of what we would see in the, in the battle HUD so we have our action menu here go to 2d Make this a little easier for us right and this the, the, this guy here is actually gonna be floating around which is why his position doesn't matter but he has an action list and what we need is is actions right so we need a more or less a button and that's that's gonna be our our action there we go right so when we have actions right maybe this one's attack you know guard item flee kind of idea that's kind of what we're looking at and these things don't have a whole lot of logic they got a little bit um, we won't deal with that quite yet so that's literally just a button and I'm gonna go to the prefabs we're gonna call this our Final Fantasy action action apparently get rid of one action we don't need two actions and prefab them pretty simple now we have a button that's going to be a big part of our logic when it gets there uh, in the window we need what I would use as um, the way I did is I did a I actually did a panel and then inside the panel uh, okay let's go to our holder let's do width panel let's make him now let's wait until we can actually see him first so let's say 35 now let's go 30 let's go 30 and then let's change the color to something a little maybe we'll go dark and then we want some text in here and this is actually going to be their their health or their name I, I guess I guess you would say right and this this whole thing is now a prefab we'll call it the enemy text so we're gonna bring that in now we have that so over here again we got almost the same thing slightly different so I'm gonna create another panel and we want this one to not control the height actually Oops, here I am grabbing the wrong thing. I'm supposed to be grabbing this thing. All right, because now I can't adjust the width. So we, we're gonna want how big we want. I don't know. 
this kind of depends on how much data you want to put into this thing and this is going to be more of a background so in this we're going to need um, health and that's going to be something closer to that and let's put it on say this half and then we're going to we're going to call this one health and then we're going to need another one I'm just going to duplicate it actually and we're going to call this one uh, we'll call it level you can also do name or whatever and I'm going to put it on this side I'll we'll shrink it down it doesn't need to be as big Maybe scale this one up a little bit. So ultimately, this thing's going to look something a little more closer to that, and this will be like, you know, something like that. Ideally, is what that's going to kind of look like. And we can prefab that. The other one we're going to want to build real quick is right here. And all it's going to be is, again, we can put another panel. Uh, we want to control width, not height. We'll do that same height. And I'll do the same kind of color. And we're going to add a slider. You can also use an image in this as well. And I'm going to get rid of the handle area. I'm just going to flat out delete that. I don't freaking want it. Zero these things off because now that we don't have a handle, we don't want those. So the background, um, you know, white's probably white's probably okay with that. But, but for the foreground, let's go with I don't know, maybe a green. Ah, whatever color, whatever color floats your boat. And zero to one's fine, right? And that's going to be our battle timer as it climbs up. Actually, you know what? Let's not go zero to one. Let's go zero to 100. We'll be able to run it a lot smoother. All right, so this, this whole thing is now our, our attack bar. Okay. <clears throat> Now we have that. How are we doing on time? So I think we're out of time. We'll work more. And the next time we're going to start hammering in a pile of logic. And we'll see how these things look.